what is going on guys it's the pure experience here within this video you've been watching another custom zombie map playthrough this map is known as halloween town and yes we are playing a halloween themed map because it's close to halloween well it's at the end of the month and we're 10 days into this month but you know what i mean it's close enough and uh halloween town yes this map is uh i've just i've just played a little run through just before i started recording and uh, if you haven't seen this map, you're in for a treat because, damn, I was in for a trick, I tell you that. Uh, that's how I'll keep it at that. Um, um, yeah, I'll keep it at that. Uh, I won't tell you anything about this map. We'll discover it together uh, because it's interesting. Let's keep it at that. There's some hidden secrets you may not want to unveil. So, uh, if you want to download the map, yeah. Great kind of promotion there. Uh, if you want to download the map, all you've got to do is have World at War on PC. It's as simple as that. You want to download it via the links in the description. There'll be a link to the forum post and a direct link to the download. It's as simple as that. Once you've, you know, got World at War on PC and you've downloaded it, you install it and then you simply play it. it is, there is nothing remotely hard about doing it. It's as simple as that. All right, so let's get killing these zombies. And uh, as you see, this zombie right here is a pain in the ass because he's got a pumpkin on his head. It's kind of like a, a semi-boss zombie, but um, not really because, you know, there's plenty of harder things to kill on this than that. There we go. So the way this map works, of course, is uh, during rounds, you are only allowed to kill the zombies with what you have. When I say that is... During, a after a round, the intermission in between rounds, um, this pumpkin will pop up and that initiates the next round. But don't do that straight away because in an intermission round, you can go buy your packs, open these doors. Yes, there is trick-or-treating. It's not all amazing though because sometimes you get something good, such as a treat, and sometimes you get, well, a trick. And I won't tell you what those tricks are because... I encountered a really bad one and it wasn't funny. It uh, cost me the game. But um, yeah, so that's the way it works essentially. You just simply go up and one of these doors. So what we'll do is we're going to go open one of these doors and uh, see what we get. Oh, shit. That was good. We got a Thompson. So you can get weapons, you can get packs. I think you can get packs. And anyway, we get some interesting things. Uh, as well, uh, we'll go get quick with that. Where was that? It was over here. Um, you know, I, I don't really want to tell you too much about the map. I know I like talking about the maps to show you, but I don't want to unveil too much. This map is about 10 months old as well, just, just to let you know. Uh, I don't want to let too much of the map out because it's kind of a trick or treaty map. It's very troll as well, so it, it's an interesting map. We'll see what happens during these sets, during this series of this map because, uh, from what I just had literally before recording, I could have like thrown my computer out the out my window. <laughs> it was that that trolley. Um but <laughs> let's, let's see what happens this time, I guess. So this is technically my second run through. I got to like round eleven last time, or twelve I think, before the game decided to really troll me. And uh, you you'll notice how easy it is to get good kind of weaponry and kitted up. But um I can ensure you you are going to need that because uh, it, it throws a lot at you, this map. But um, yeah, of course, let's talk about the creators. So the map was created by uh, Awesome Pie Man and Hex Zombies, I believe. Um, all information and links, etc., will be in the description for those guys, of course. All credit goes to those, because this map is amazing. Yeah, I say that grit in my teeth, because it's bloody trolly. Um, yeah, again, we'll get to that point when we do get to it because it is funny. And why won't you die? Die, you godforsaken zombie. Just die. There we go. Wow, that did that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. Um, Pick up that. And we'll go trick-or-treating. No, we won't. We don't need to. Actually, no, we won't. We'll, uh, we'll just focus on getting more points before we do anything. Uh, I'm not sure how many perks there is either. Like, my first one, I only saw three. And I think that is the only three. Obviously, quick revive, wherever it is. Um, 
I can never find it fit. Let's go here. Quick revamp there. Uh, we also have jug. And we have double tap right there. So, yeah. I, like, I thought double tap was quite unnecessary. I was like, eh, I'm not really going to need it. Trust me, you're going to need it. You're going to need everything you can get on this map. It's really. Right, we'll use our pistols for a bit. Well, we'll just waste all the ammo out of it. May as well, right? And I'm going to leave one bullet in. So it doesn't tell me to reload all the time, because that bugs me. Alright. Actually, no, it tells me anywhere. Low armor. Alright, there we go. We'll just use our Thompson. Da 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 da. Thompson. Oh. Hey, come on. Less of that. Less of that. Quickly kill these. Because, like, it is generally really easy to get geared on this map, but. My god, is this map a pain in the butt. It's a fun map, though. Good map. And uh, just buy this, and we'll, we'll take a look at the map. Because just look at this map. How well it looks, and how well the creators have done to make it the kind of Halloween environment. It's magnificent. Really good looking map. Love a good looking map. And we'll just have a little look. There you go. Just a little pan around right there. We'll start the next round as we have no ammo. Uh, money, sorry. Points. That's it. That's it. Points. But um, yeah, I don't. Did I already? T I think I already told you then like that. Uh, during a round, you can't go past the houses. Basically, you can't go past the green line. After a round in the intermission, you can just to clear that up in a really simple form. Alright, we'll take that. Did, have I got a max ammo? No. Really would would be great if I had one. No, we're not going to get that just yet. We'll go ahead and just knife as many as we can. Please say they're dying one. Here we go. There we go. May as well get the nuke to finish whatever's left. Or it disappears. Get the extra 400 points as well. And there we go. Let's go trick or treating, boys. Let's go. We'll choose this house. Each house is random. And trust me, when I say random, I mean random. Wow. Yeah, boy. I use these in my practice run or my first run. And God Almighty, are they worth it? So if you get those, don't use them all straight away. Because you, you're really going to like them. Let's go trick shooting again. Uh, i got points for that. That's good. Should we buy double tap? We'll buy it later on. Actually, no, we'll buy it now. Because I know what's coming, you know. I know what's coming. <laughs> and you don't want to know. Uh, we'll go trick shooting again. We have so much points. I just... I can't resist not going trick or treating. I got nothing. Hey, I didn't realize there was a pack here. How much is it? We'll take it. We'll take it. Is there any more packs? I didn't even notice that. That's the first time I've noticed it anymore, don't you? Let's just have a little run. Have a look if there's more packs. Maybe there's only four. Oh, we're stuck. Thank you. Um, maybe there is the only the four. Because it is a, like a, eleven a year old, so I don't expect them to have a massive amount of packs. But yeah, I'm glad I found that because that would really come in handy. You know, last the first time I did this map. Well. Yeah, well, we'll go ahead and stop trigger treating now before something really bad happens. <laughs> right. Round five. We've hit a milestone. Round five, boys. We've hit a milestone. Now, I'll take 15 or above on this map because late, late, mid and late rounds get interesting. Now, I don't get what this is. It's changed colour from... I swear it was not always yellow. 
It was green, wasn't it? Now, I don't get why it happens when it goes yellow. Unless it means something bad's going to happen, which then I'm all for it staying green at that point. Oh, you see that? Oh, yeah, I got this last round. All right, so that does. What it does is it takes you to the pack a punch room. I thought originally it gave me a pack a punch weapon, but it doesn't. It takes you to the room where you can also buy it for 5k. But if you haven't got 5k, it's no point going to the room. Oh, ouch. And uh, when the zombies do hit you, you get sucked into like a vortex or some shit. You, like they have their own gravitational pull, you seem to get stuck to them. Alright, the real question is what the hell do I do with no ammo? We'll just use my grenades at this point. Yep, just, just take the grenades, please. Die, die. Alright, now you're going to see this bad boy. 